Welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the SX1278 LoRa module with Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, I have already connected the Raspberry Pi with the module here. And you can see that it's the RA02 version of the LoRa module which operates on 433 MHz and it is connected to the Raspberry Pi through jumper cables and the Pi is powered by the adapter and it is also connected to the monitor over here so that I can show you how I'm launching the Python program and uh, I will also show you the values that are being received from the Arduino board. So this is our project folder. So as I told you earlier in the description, we need a library for this and this would be the library to so how to download the library and how to do the programming connections all these details can be found at the link given in the description of this video this is a python program so let's go ahead and launch it using the python 3 ideally so let's go into programming and python 3 let's wait for the application to open and i have already opened it recently so it should be in my recent files i'll just go ahead and open it and here we go so this is our program again the explanation for this can be found at the link given in the description of this video so let me go ahead and run the program and on the shell window you should see that we are receiving some values you'll also notice that we have two warnings because i didn't terminate the program last time properly but you will not be seeing this and these warnings are not of major concern so we have already started receiving these values because i configured the raspberry pi as a client on the Arduino as a server meaning it is transmitting these values that is from 0 to 9 constantly and i'm receiving it on my pi side so the Arduino you know is connected to the LoRa module and it is placed over there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how the connections are done. So this is our Arduino you know connected to our LoRa module and it is powered by a 12 volt adapter. So this is the same LoRa module the SX1278 which is the RE02 version and it operates on 433 MHz as you can see here it's written on the back side of the module and uh, right now it is sending those 0 to 9 values continuously let me reset the module so that we can notice that the value has been broken in the middle on the pi so on the pi side since we have reset the module you can notice that after 7 it has actually gone to 0 because we resetted it in the middle so it has started from 0 after 7 so as you can see after let me scroll up and find the value since it's continuously updating so yeah here we go so as you can see after 7 we have received 0 and then it has continued for us 1 2 3 and all those so since we are, since the shell command is continuously updating i'm not able to show you those things properly so what we'll do is we will go ahead and uh, terminate the Arduino server side so we'll let the program continuously run we'll just go ahead and terminate the program from the Arduino server side so that we will no longer be receiving values on our client side so let's go to the Arduino board and remove it from the power. So let me just unplug it from the power and uh, this will stop the data being transmitted to our Raspberry Pi. As I told you on the shell window, if you see now, we are no longer receiving values. So for demonstration purpose, I have just sent values like 0 to 9, but you can actually connect a sensor to your Arduino module like a temperature, humidity, moisture, whatever sensor you want, you can connect it to your Arduino module and you can send those values to your Raspberry Pi, which of course has connection to the internet and upload it to the cloud. So that's it guys. I have just explained it briefly, but you can check more in the link at the description. Thanks for watching.